So let's talk about some good and some bad over this last year. <music> So let's talk about the good and there's a lot of good to talk about as rough as this last year was there are some really high points and that's the main reason I wanted to make this little short video the high point was is I had the coronavirus I was in the hospital for a week and I made it out uh, one of the low points was obviously I had the coronavirus and I was in the hospital but the high point was is I made it out um, and it was miserable, man. I'm here to tell you that was no freaking joke. My son was sick. He's eight years old, but he was only sick for a couple days, had a slight fever, and he was sore. My wife was really sick also. And I'm going to tell you what, you, you know a true friend. I had a friend out in California. He literally hopped on an airplane my second day in the hospital, and he was out here taking care of my son and wife while I was wallowing in misery in the hospital because she was pretty sick also. But he was here for them. Uh, he picked me up out of the hospital, got me home, took care of me for a week, and he had to get back to work. And I thank God for him and all the other people that called up and gave support, neighbors who were sick that helped as much as they could. Man, it was it sucked really, really bad. But I'm doing better. After effects of the coronavirus, I still can't smell hardly anything. And the things that I do smell, as bar bizarre as it is, they all smell the same. Most things smell the same. And it's this weird, funky chemical smell. My taste isn't even anywhere where it needs to be. But it's getting better, um, which is kind of cool. Physically, I'm fine. I, I'm in jujitsu, getting injured, <laughs> but physically I'm good to go, and my wife is good to go, and my son is good to go, and man, that is something to be so thankful for, such a high point, and the people that helped, such a high point, and I'm so thankful to God for putting those people in my lives, and the doctor that admitted me into the hospital um, it's actually the hospital I work at. He saved my life. You know, I, I have a lot of stuff to pardon the French bitch about at the VA. Um, there's some things I don't agree with, but the man that got in front of me, he saved my life. And I thank God that he was put in front of me and he took the actions that he did because he told me when I was admitted, if you don't respond to this medication, sir, you're probably looking at getting trait tomorrow night. And I didn't want a tube down my throat. But I recovered. I'm home. I'm physically fine now. And all is well. So that's just awesome. I started this YouTube channel this year. My wife and I, um, we wanted to try to help people with preparedness. Because, you know, it was insanity with that coronavirus and all the stuff that was going on. Anyway, but we're not going to talk about that. Not too much anyway. Um, there were some other low points also. You know, our economy took a big giant hit. Our supply chain is in shambles. Hopefully, you know, things are going to get back in track better next year. And if it's not next year, hopefully by the following year, 2023. I think 2022 is going to be kind of rough, but let's keep a good attitude and hopefully we can get through it. And I'm... Again, thankful to all my neighbors. It was a tough year. We made it through. Um, my suggestion to everybody out there, other than getting, you know, your preparedness stuff in line, you know, start to know your neighbors. It doesn't matter if you're a Republican, Democrat, Libertarian, Independent, whatever, man. You're an American. We're on this big blue marble. We're in this awesome country. We have to stick together. We have to stay united and not divided. Know your neighbors. 
help your neighbors. I had neighbors that helped so much. I, I, it's, it, it literally put tears in my eyes and I'm so thankful for them, but that's what neighbors are for, right? And good friends. So let's look forward to a new year. Let's have a great Christmas tomorrow. Uh, be safe on new year's Eve. You know, it's amateur hour. Be careful. You know, dumb people win dumb prizes. So the saying goes, and just have fun. Let's let's embrace 2022. Let's move forward. March on. Uh, I know people that are opening businesses coming up this next year. I'm excited for them. I'm praying for them. I'm going to support their businesses any way I can. And if they ever need any help, I'll help them. Uh, we got to get things back on track in this country, and we're going to do it. So, again, have a Merry Christmas, a Happy New Year. Be safe. Hug your wife and kids or whoever you're living with. Tell them you love them and enjoy. Maybe prepping out.